Howdy. I want to thank everybody for listening to my Revelation podcast. I hope that God gave each and every one of you the spirit of discernment so that you could see the truth of God's word. God didn't need to speak allegorically to us. God knew how to convey what it was he wanted to say. And through John, that's exactly what he did. If we are going to take the Bible and say that it's infallible, that all scripture is from God, then God does not make mistakes. God does not need to make sure that his scripture says anything other than what it says and means anything other than what it means. For this reason, I'm starting another podcast and I'm going to have a series where I focus on apologetics and exegesis. I know many people out there don't know what exegesis or apologetics is, and and it has nothing to do with being sorry. Apologetics is essentially your ability to defend your faith. Apologists tend to spend a lot of time arguing with atheists and a myriad of other types of people. Their goal is to sway their opponent and the listeners to a belief in Christ. Now, this does not happen to us every day. But the reason apologetics is important is because what if somebody crosses your path and they don't believe in God? Now, hopefully they're not an apologist and because if they are, they're going to start coming after you with a series of words and arguments, things that you would have most certainly no way to actually argue against. These professional debaters will go as far as three, four hundred years ago all the way to 2,000, 3,000 years ago. They're very well read and very well studied. They're not always right, but they will put out information which you cannot refute. And that is why apologetics actually is important. But for the common man's purpose, apologetics is merely their ability to tell anybody why they believe what they believe. Exegesis is how you interpret scripture. It is the context within which you understand. And it is the manner by which you draw your conclusion on what scripture means. Somebody with poor exegesis will take a scripture and they'll take it entirely out of context. Whereas someone who has proficient exegesis will actually take it for what it means. And they will not try to twist it and manipulate it to mean what they want it to mean. So with those two topics along with news updates, I'm going to be uploading to my new podcast as often as I can and as often as I teach. Shortly I'll be heading to Africa to build a farm if the Lord tarries. So I'd appreciate your prayers and support. You can find me on both Spreaker and iTunes, just like this podcast. I'll be uploading a teaching on all the events that are coming in September. For those who are paying attention, there's a lot of a lot of things. There's a lot of people, doomsdayers and naysayers and all that coming up, running around telling everybody the world is at its end. And you know what? For in for general, I agree with that. But I do not believe it's as bad as they think. I think we're just getting ready for the warm-up act. I don't think we have a manner of days before Christ returns. But then again, I could be wrong. No man knows the day nor the hour. So please tune in. You guys take care. God bless. And hope to see you on the next show.